So this is the uh, second half um, of the video of teaching Isla to walk by our side as we start the walk. Um, it's been three minutes since our last video and we're already getting some improvement. So let's see how we get on this time. How he's still using the lure to start off the walk. But look at that, reward that, lots of attention now. Instead of pulling at this point, we're getting continued attention because Isla's already seen that the pulling doesn't pay off. And we've now just got through the gate, which was a real stumbling point. It was at that point that she was pulling loads, just going through the gate. So if you want to come straight towards me, Harry, follow me. She's still giving lots of attention now. And we've had a pull. We, so we got really far that time, but we've had a pull. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do, Harry? We're going to wait for Billy to get to that, then walk all the way back. Exactly, we're going to walk all the way back. And why are we going to walk all the way back? Prove a point that when she pulls, she doesn't get anywhere. Yeah, exactly. As I said in the class, um, the distance you go back is up to you. But the more punishing you make it, the quicker they'll learn. So particularly at the start of a walk and at the start of a, tra a new training exercise like this, if you go all the way back, it really teaches them a lasting lesson. We've been doing this for seven minutes in total and we've got massive improvement. So lots of attention. We dropped a treat. It's the first one in a while. Not a problem. So we've just got past the point where we pulled. A few steps later, she pulls again. That's because we're suddenly kind of getting out onto the road where things are more interesting. So, Harry's waiting, waiting for the lead to slacken, giving Isla a bit of time to think about it, and also giving her time to realize, okay, a slack lead is a good thing. If your dog decides to plant their feet, just keep on pulling them. At this age, it's very easy because they're quite small. At this age, they can, they can quickly learn, okay, even if I do try and plant my feet, I get pulled onwards. And so long as you're quite, you know, not harsh, but just diligent, so you just keep a, keep a firm pressure and walk backwards, it's not the same as yanking. As long as you keep that firm pressure as you walk backwards, they quickly learn, ah, I may as well give up on that behavior. If you're a bit half-hearted in it, then they learn, okay, sometimes it's worth planting my feet. And the trouble with that is when they're a lot bigger, you can't do much about it. Any chance I get some more treats? Okay, so Harry's running out of treats, so we'll stop it there. Um, but from having a dog that was really frantic at pulling through the gate to one that calmly walks past the gate, giving Harry lots of attention, has taken eight perhaps nine minutes. Okay, hope that gives you some hope.